Hello everybody and welcome, you're watching Dave Playing Games. My name is Dave and I am playing Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 in what is probably going to be the last time in a little while. The game is going to be updated gradually as time goes on and I'll probably drop back into it every now and again just to see what new things have come in. However, today I am bringing the full force of the killer chickens. And so this is the moment you've probably not been waiting for. It's also worth mentioning that if you have any sort of photosensitivity, probably stop watching now. And so, the armies are arrayed. We have what should be 10,000 trolls, 2 million zombies, and then some sprinkling of some super zombies just to make things interesting. Their foes today, the delightfully named canard bastards, brutal murderous duck soldiers who, uh, yeah, they're specialised at killing zombies. They are supported themselves by artillery hens, chickens who can launch explosive eggs at disappointingly short distances. And of course the stars of the show, the lightning chickens, the murder hens, the poultry of doom, thousands and thousands of lightning chickens ready to zap their way through the armies of the dead. And they're off. And my computer is having a really, really, really hard time with all of these assets. Racing forward as quickly as their little web feet can carry them, the canard bastards chase down their zombie foes. The undead themselves, of course, eager to join the fray. Remember, there are literally millions of these things. But as battle is joined, the ducks are very handy, or uh, uh, wingy, I'm not really sure, in dealing with the zombies. Just look at the bloodbath. The zombie hordes are pouring in, but the ducks seem to have very little trouble with them. Meanwhile, on the front line proper, you can see many, many more zombies, but these zombies have a whole different problem to contend with. Under the yoke of bombardment, the artillery hens are shelling the zombies. <laughs> shelling. Truly, it's a terrifying rain of eggs. The thousands of trolls are rushing forward now to meet their avian foes, but um, the star of the show, arguably the reason this video is happening, the lightning chickens, they're, um, they're dealing with them quite well. The chicken stormtroopers are absolutely electrifying their troll foes. They're murdering them in great numbers. There's, there's not much the trolls can do. They're barely getting a swing in. And if we take a broader look at the battlefield, we can see the same thing is happening all over the place. The lightning chickens are using their preferred tactic of shock and awe. Since their debut against the Romans, they've gone through several, um, should we call it revisions? I've made them weaker. I've made their attacks weaker. I've done everything I can think of to make them less ridiculous. They don't have the impact damage anymore, but well, in every attempt I've done to try and do this video, the chickens have been quite devastating. Even now, so horrifically outnumbered, the chickens are almost a million kills in. The choke points favouring them versus the zombies who can only just about get their numbers to bear. But that's not stopping them from trying, they're still pouring in. The absolute devastation is no better represented than here, where the zombies meet the ducks on the front line by the cliff face ducks splattered in blood and down the cliff they topple a stream of zombie bodies the gore painting the cliff face as the bodies just pile up in little mounds of uh, well dead dead things zombies pouring off to find other avenues where they can possibly overwhelm their foes with their sheer numbers only to find as soon as they get to their foes they are being absolutely slaughtered I'm loath to use the term killed because, well, they're already dead. If this video has a purpose at all, and I really don't think it does, it should be serving as a PSA. You should be careful with the tools that you are given. Just because you can make lightning chickens that can murder absolutely anything they look at does not mean you should. At this point, honestly, there's like a third of the birds that I'd intended. There's almost double the amount of zombies. Nothing, nothing seems to be able to stop the lightning chickens. Despite running to their certain doom, the zombies just keep on coming, but can they get a foothold? Can they try and overwhelm the birds? An army that once numbered 2 million is now barely 200,000. 
The ducks are quacking down on preventing the zombies from outflanking the lightning chickens, but I do feel as though, frankly, the lightning chickens probably could have done it on their own. And with no more zombies on their right flank, the ducks are pouring back into the choke point, into the pyramid, to try and finish off the undead. In fact, as we get almost to 2 million kills, I, I actually, I'm not sure that there's enough zombies to actually reach 2 million kills. I think some of them might have killed themselves. We may be getting to an avian victory. The final zombies pouring to their doom as they try and do something, anything, to put a dent on the bird invasion. The number of lightning chickens attacking drops dramatically, not because they've been killed, but because they've basically just run out of things to kill. And with the majority of the zombies dead, there's 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 three somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going to find them, but I think we can say it's a resounding chicken win. There we are. Beautiful. So, if we've learned anything at all here, I would say it's that any foe can be overcome by the correct application of what I'm starting to call battery chickens. <laughs>